well, now we're kind of well fed, and and there's Bo, and uh, I'm trying to just lock her down for the night, but she's still very active. Um, so, got a lot of indoor toys though. Going? Bed. Good girl. It's Thursday morning. And there's Bo. Right there. Good morning, Bo. Well, I thought she was awake, but I don't think she is. Um oh yeah. Hmm. Well, I've been having a real difficult time trying to roust her. So I might just try to leave her. Oh, I might just leave her in the bed and then uh, put the coffee on. Yeah, she is real tired. Well, we only did five miles yesterday. I don't know what. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's her estrus. Good morning. Hey, Bo. Ready to jump on the day? Yeah? Oh. Wow. That's a lot of action, Bo. Nice stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's ready. You can tell. All right, let's, let's roll. You first. Go. I'll go. Well, it's 8 o'clock in the morning now, on Thursday. This is where we're headed today. That other little swimming hole way out over there by the uh, hotel. It's going to be fun. Uh, but first, we have to pick up a little poop. That's what I have to do with Bo every day. So, Bo, hold on. Okay, we're going to figure out where she wants to go down today. Um, I have a place that I want to go but we'll leave it up to her. <clears throat> That's a little too steep right there. Man, that would concern Andrea. Hey, Bo, although we've been down there, pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> All right, you figure it out, Bo. There's a lot of ducks right there. Hey, Bo, do you see them ducks? Yeah, come on down. This is a good place. Go on. Yeah, this is the easy, Bo. Oh. Maybe easier for me because I have big feet. Uh, Hey, Bo, come on. Okay, we made it. Uh, but all the ducks are gone. Uh, okay, better find you something to throw. All right, this place is pretty well picked over. Probably because of me and Bo. We're gonna go out into the river channel like we did the other day. That was that rock that, or that piece of concrete we we're standing on. It's really slippery. Um, you want to go out? <clears throat> yeah, go on. Go jump on that rock like you like to do. All right, ready? Ready?
Go on. Go on, Bo. Get it. Go on. Get it, Bo. Go on. Yeah, she's swimming pretty good there. I usually like to kind of warm her up a little bit. That wasn't very far. She could swim a lot further. Hey, bring that stick, Bo. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. She's looking at some ducks, I think. No, she's looking at somebody. Oh, you lost it, Bo. Oh, it's a person with a dog. Shoot. Yes. <laughs> Get her, Bo. Him. Go on, Bobo. Go get her. That's it, Bo? Come on, go get her. <laughs> well, now Bo's riled up, as you can see. That was probably the sh shortest swimming we've ever done, but we're going to uh, go to a better swimming hole. So that was just to get her warmed up, I guess. Um, there's not a whole lot of folk out for some reason. And uh, so I might try to let her run around in Squirrel Alley. I don't know. It's just so dangerous. And it's such a pain to try to get her back because of her lack of uh, discipline. We'll play by ear. Nope, leave that poop. Well, not a whole lot of cars or folk out right now, so I think it's okay. So there's a car right there, just pulling out. Hey, Bo. I don't think she'll actually chase the car. Nope, good, it went, went up that driveway, that's good. I think she's more concerned about the squirrels at this point. I don't run her enough, that's the problem because of her puppyhood. Normally what she'd like to do is just kind of just run around all the time. All right, she's basically just kind of running from tree to tree here, which is okay. She's not doing anything real crazy. And so we'll kind of leave her off the leash for the time being, because she can enjoy that quite a bit. I'm just kind of scanning for other folk, cars and dogs, uh, but I think she's pretty oblivious. Here, come on, Bo. Here, she's like, uh, this is the last thing I want to do is come back. Bo, here, come on, here. Now there are woodpeckers to the right and squirrels and birds and there's also goose right there. So I'm not sure what she's gonna go after, if anything. Hey Bo, come on. She might just go after the goose poop. Is what it looks like she's doing there.
I'm gonna walk down the water and see if I can lead her down there. Oh, doubtful. Oh, goose poop and dog poop right there. Hey, Bo. Oh, <laughs> unexpected. This is not where I figured she'd want to go. Might be able to do some dock diving though. Hey Bobo, got something for you. Hey, ready? Ready? Good girl, that's your first dock dive. I'll meet you back up on shore. She'll get it a little better than that, I think. Eventually. Good job, Bo. Hey, Bo. Well, I'd save this other stick for the other swimming hole, but I think I'm going to try to... Hey, Bo. Actually, I saved it to beat her over the head. Hey, Bo. Bo, here. Uh, runner coming up. Bo, Bo, here. This is not going to be good. All right. This is not good at all. Bo, here. This guy doesn't yell at me. Bo! There's a squirrel up in that tree. We're headed back to the trash can because of this. And then uh, there's a squirrel right there. So we're gonna try to do double activities. She's gonna trace the squirrel. And I'm gonna throw her second poop of the morning in the trash. Oh shoot, no dog's coming up. Okay, now we're going on this other, this little dike. We discovered this. Nice swimming hole. Problem is there's cat food down to the left that she discovered also. And so I expect her to turn left here to try to get that cat food, but maybe she's forgotten it. No, she hasn't. I thought it was down the hill a little bit. Maybe a cat ate it. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get her to follow me. This is a nice, particularly nice swimming hole because it's really deep. And uh, so I guess her swimming real quick. She's not following me. Here she comes. Oh, Bo, no, 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 no. We're going to go swimming first. You can chase a bird second. Come on. Bo, come on. All right. Hey, Bo, that's, we don't want to go down there. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bo! Bo, here! It's that damn bird. Bo, here! I'm gonna wake up these folk in the condos. Come on! Good girl. Ready? Go get it. Get it, Bo. Go on! Get it, Bo! Go on! Go on. Go on. Go. There's duck. I mean, there's ducks. I know, but it's swimming. It's going by. Bo, Bo, look. It's going by. That was a big stick. I have a big stick and a small stick. Well, Bo, you're no fun, I guess. There it goes. Okay. Big guns. 
This is reserved for the baseball field, but we'll see if she can get it. This is high risk. Go get it, Bo. Get it, Bo. Please. That's a ball. Bo, get the ball. Get the ball. Go on. Get the ball. Get it. Go on. Bring it. Swimming against the current. Bring it, Bo. Good girl. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. No, no, bring it all the way. Ball, 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 ball. <laughs> Go get it. There goes that ball. Go on. All right. Well, pretty much one ball, one walk. We do that every time now. I could, it was too far for me to reach it. Now she's gonna go run up and face this bird. That's okay. Nope, there's a couple people coming up. Hey, Bo. Here. Good girl, stand down, stand down. Stand down. I don't know if you can see those birds, but they're very annoying right there. Well, now we're headed back. Good little walk, I guess. I don't know. It's probably one tenth of what she really needs on a daily basis. She didn't do a whole lot of swimming, but I guess she wasn't in the mood. We'll swim her more this summer, I'm sure. It's helpful if we have Chase and, and Sam and Jake. There she is, I lost her. Bo! This is the kind of running she needs. Bo!
Oh! Boat! Now it's getting too close to the road. Better get her it's more seriously. Well, I did manage to get her back. Now we're at another impasse. But this is an interesting spot. This is called the, the fingernail. It's a small outdoor stage. It used to be like a small bank or something, but then they they tore it down to make it a fingernail or something. I'm not quite sure really on the history, but what I am sure is Tom used to be in an 80s rock band. He was a front man, actually. And this is in the 80s, so it was legit. He played here at the fingernail. Um, okay. Yeah, Bo's eating like one third of that. There's like a giant pound cake or something. Bo, so she just ate a huge, I couldn't, jeez. I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna try to try to tie her up to something. How the hell am I gonna do this? Now the birds will, birds will get it. Do you like that snack, Bo? That literally was probably a, I don't know, size of a, a foot, half of a foot, like half of my foot. That's how big it was. I was gonna say fist size, but it's bigger than a fist. So foot size, it looked like pound cake or something. I don't know who would put, leave it there. It's bull crap. I wasn't, I didn't notice in time. She had the whole thing in her mouth. I mean, it's like, that's the size of one of them that she had in her mouth. So, hey Bo, come on. Hope you enjoyed your snack, Bo. Okay, I'm gonna shut the camera off so I can beat her. Ready for a beating? This is the uh, dark side of uh, panic buying. What you got here is uh, a full box of food. Um, like your cake mixes, your pumpkin, pumpkins. Looks like apple juice or something down there, something tree top, it's usually apple juice. Some cooking stock. All of it was purchased in panic. And then they couldn't eat it fast enough, I guess. So. Let that be a lesson for panic buying. It's not all just fun and games. Hey, Bo. Bo, Bo. It is apple juice. Yeah. Okay, come on. Ready to go down the hill? Yeah? All right. Nice stretch, Bo. I've got a coworker coming here in a few minutes. Drop something off. He's on a, a kind of an emergency response mission for Bo. He said it was en route, but 
I just went outside. I'm not sure what he meant by that and how long it's going to take. We're going to hang out here as long as it takes. Well, here's my friend. We have a strict protocol. Thank you. Well, now it's 2.30 on Thursday. I had to go to the test site to scan some documents to send to Japan. I also did a, a small dump run. And uh, I figure since we're out here, I might as well take Bo up the street a little bit for an upland walk. Um, she'll get more running around than she was able to do uh, earlier today uh, because she's going to be off leash a little more. So it's good. We haven't been back here in a while, so it should be fun for her. All right. Yeah. Run along, Bo. Oh, I was trying to move her along this area. This is where the trash comes out of the gate from the dump, but I think she might have found a ball. Found a ball. Hey, Bo. Oh, uh, no, it's a ball remnant. I thought she redeemed herself. That's it. That ball is toast. Bo, I thought you redeemed yourself from this morning. No redemption. But come on. Come along. At least she recognizes it as a, as, as a tennis ball. Yep, and she also recognizes this garbage. Here she comes. What are you doing? Ready? Nope. Didn't want that. I think she wants to get her own stick. Oh, you're just going to get stickers in your paw pads. All right, be that way. Here she comes. All right, I'm hiding behind this bush. Bo is not coming up at all. Let's see if we can see her. No. Bo! All right, come on. Uh, we're gonna go to the digging pile and see if she wants to do any digging. That's a pretty good destination. It's kind of one of our standard destinations. Um, I'm not sure if she wants to do any digging or even if she's remembered how, because it's been so long. Come on. for like a low angle shot and then uh and then she attacked me hey Bo you're supposed to be digging for the camera um so this is not really optimal oh I have to throw it away uh, no I think she's getting tired. Good 
girl. All right, Bo, load up. Load up. Go on. Good job. All right, we're gonna do a quick, uh, this is the front side of Hank's house. Not there, but actually right there. So Bo's actually been on the street running through the carport right there. Oh, there, oh, I just saw a dog. Well, we're back from that second walk and it's a couple hours for dinner time, but I think that uh, Bo can have a rib. Go on. That's for you, Bo. Oh, almost hit her there. Sorry, Bo. Bring it. Come on. Uh, I must have went out the fence. Yeah, I won a million shot there. There's is quite a gap. I can see where it happened. It just kind of rolled under it. I'll get it, Bo. Hold on. I did close the other gate. Okay, now we'll get this right. Ready, Bo? Ready? Ready? Nice and easy. Come on! Bring it! Come on! Right here. Good girl. Yeah, good one. Well, it's Friday morning and there's Bo. Oh, and uh, hey Bo. And we're about to jump on the day. It's gonna be a fairly exciting day. Um, all right. Well, it's Friday, 9.15. The phone says 45 degrees, but it feels like 55. There's Bo. We're headed north along the Columbia River. We're gonna do a little bit of swimming and a little bit of walking. Um, all right, Bo knows these ladies, so we'll pay a quick visit. <laughs> oh, not, oh. <laughs> well, the second lady confirmed that now that the government says you can pet dogs, although I haven't seen that, but I believe her. But the problem is I'm on a four-foot leash here. Or Bo's on the four-foot leash. I'm on the other end of that leash, and I should really break out a six-foot leash. I only have baby leashes that are that long. I don't like them. So, uh, maybe a 10 foot leash. All right, we're we get the first two swimming holes. The first one because of the tumbleweed situation. Second one because there's a, she always just runs up towards the first swimming hole and then runs on the bank and then back to me, which I don't like. Um, so we're gonna go to the second swimming hole proper and then our bonus hole that we discovered uh, last week, which is a really fun hole. Um, okay, we'll check back later. Actually, we haven't been down to this one. This is uh, swimming hole uh, 1C. Uh, we haven't been out here in a while. I saw these mud flats. Oh, uh, nope. Sorry, Bo, that's too crappy. Too many tumbleweeds. Let's back it up. All right, ready? Ready, Bo? Come on! Uh, hey, Bo, I'm over here. Bring it.
But all I got are just kind of uh, a fleece now. It's, uh, there's not a whole lot of people out here right now for some reason. Uh, it is quite a nice day, but maybe the for reported 45 degrees is too cold for folk. Uh, well, at least it's, uh, it's sunny. It seems sunny, which is nice. Here's a place we've never been to. I wonder what's back here. Yeah, this looks like a place where animals bed down, I'm guessing. Probably a deer habitat. Yeah, I was uh, waiting to set up a shot and then I forgot that she was an estrus and then I figured she might have been running off on me. But anyway, she came back. Hey, Bo, let's go find a big stick, okay? Big stick right there. Well, yeah. we'll move on. Go get it! Come on! What the hell? I'm not trusting this dog at all. Well, we're actually uh, making our way to the, uh, the target swimming hole I wanted to explore with both today. There's a little channel though. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get across it. Um, all right, we got a dog situation coming up. birth. Hi. Oh, <laughs> Easy girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to our destination. Bo well, always goes down to this little channel. I'm not really sure what she's exploring over there. But this place has got so many good sticks. But I'm not sure if she's going to swim again. Hey Bo, you want to swim again? Got you all lined up. I think she's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Bo, bring it in. Bring it on in. Well, now I'm sitting on this log here. It's actually a nice log. I don't know what she's doing. She doesn't want to swim much. She's just kind of hanging out. But I'll just keep an eye on her and make sure she doesn't... Um, look at all those sticks doesn't run off and try to get impregnated. Unless it's a male, well, obviously it'll be male. This is a golden retriever, kind of like Chase. That'd be a good mating. I think that would be probably the ultimate dog with Chase's gentleness and Bo's uh, ferocity, be good. Hey, Bo! Bo! Come on! Shake it off. Nothing. Nothing. Well, maybe something. Yeah, you want to grab that bow? That little stick? Yeah? No? Huh. That's not the stick. All right. Oh, since I got her in there. Hey, Bo, check it. Check it out, Bo. Get it! 
Get a boat. They're not getting it. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Well, I think you've got to leave here in a few minutes to start really starting the work day. It's just one more day of work. Yeah. Hey, Bo, you want to, you ready to start the work day? She is not, obviously. Well, it's still, it's still Friday. It's 4.30. It's 55 degrees, but it feels 35. And uh, I think we might have to suspend all walks until next Tuesday when it's reportedly going to be 70 degrees. Uh, so we're, we're not out here for our enjoyment. We're out for this dog's exercise. This particular breed needs, uh, you know, six, six miles a day walking, two hours a day of running, one hour a day of swimming. She doesn't get all of that. Um, we're doing the best we can do. Oh, no, hey, Bo. Still haven't picked up that. Whatever that is. One of these days. So anyways, um, there's Bo. We're going to walk down the Cougar and try not to freeze to death out here. All right, we walked a little further than the Cougar statue just because there's a small dog that we're trying to give wide birth to. Um, come on, let's go see Mr. Cougar and then see about getting ourselves a pizza. Remember the plan? I think she does. Oh, oh. I remember when she was a baby, this was a long walk. Now this, this particular type of walk is kind of a short garbage walk, really. No swimming, no squirrel chasing. This is just kind of uh, just to get her out of the house for a few minutes. Wait, hey, wrong way. Oh, we're not going that way. All right, now we're back on schedule. You want to come on this way? Come on. Come on. There. There's Mr. Cougar right there. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, she just knocked me to the ground, and now uh, she's doing this. Seriously, though? Oh, no. Seriously. Okay, tranquilo. You want to lie down and take a nap out here in the freezing sunshine? Or you want to just play at the leash? I switched the, the newer leash. This doesn't have all the frays and holes in it because of her estrus. And I figured it's safer. But right now, this looks like she's just uh, wants to bust it up like the old leash. Ow. Oh. Okay, just gotta get her away from me. Oh! All right, you ready? Oh. Okay. Oh! Yeah, there's a cat right there. That's normally where the squirrels go. So we're kind of at an impasse here in the middle of the street. Hey, Bo. No, 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 no. Bobo, come on. Come on. Come on. Bo, there's Mr. Grizzly Bar right there, Bo. Whoa. Okay. Well, 
Those are the meatballs I've been promising Bo all week. So she's never had uh, Italian meatballs before. It was buy one order and get another thing half price, so. And the lady tried to upsell me some cookies and bottles of wine. I said, no, that's enough food. It's just for me and my dog. And then I probably shouldn't have said that. But she said uh, she'll enjoy the meatballs. And it looks like she is. Quite a bit, actually. That's a better view.